Hey everybody, getting ready to go out and do some more adventuring. We had to stop at Walmart and get a new SD card first. It's just me mm -hmm. and the wife, the tiny tornado, and Sawyer the Wonder Dog. You ready, bud? Huh? You ready? Yeah. Wanna go check out some bridges? Alright. Catch you at the first bridge. Okay. First bridge is the Thorpe Ford Bridge. Out by a little town called Rosedale. This one's no longer in commission. But it is in a beautiful spot. Made in 1912. Who was the builder, ready? J.A. Britton. J.A. Britton built this one too. And there's the creek. It's starting to snow on us a little. Okay. It's a beautiful spot. I think my father-in-law used to camp around this area when he was a kid. Okay. It's the next bridge. This is the one at Bridgeton. This is one of the little towns that they have a festival in every year. Ironically named the Cover Bridge Festival. Beautiful little waterfall. There's the old bridge to mill. Established 1823 and rebuilt in 1870. It's another beautiful little spot. This is the Big Raccoon Creek. I'll have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure. Let's go check it out. What do you think, baby? I love that sound.
might be fun in a kayak. A lot of artwork. Godzilla was here. Beautiful creek. <clears throat> uh, this little town has a lot of little festivals. Come here for Mountain Man Festival in the spring. Not a huge one, but it's fun nonetheless. Well, that's the Bridgeton Mill and Bridge. A little late getting the wreath down. <laughs> okay, catch y'all at the next one. Okay. Third stop along the way, Conley's Ford Bridge. It was built in 1906. And the builder was Van Fossen. Let's check it out. I had to let the dog out stretch his legs. He's what you might call a little on the hyper side. Great dog, but hard to calm him down. <laughs>
whole art. No idea Indiana had so many artists. Got the water down below. Hope you guys all enjoy checking these out with us. This is something fun to do in our spare time wintry out right now so not a whole lot we can do outside but this is something we can do I just love the scenery I have to get out and do some magnet fishing at some of these places. I've never done it. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube do it. I'd like to try it. I guess the first step would be getting a magnet. <laughs> any of you guys have any suggestions? Brands? Places to get them? Let me know in the comments. course I'd love to have some people subscribing if you like checking out bridges we'll be doing more of them I think there's 31 total so after today we'll have seen about 11 or 12 but springtime's coming up I'm gonna be doing some mushroom hunting Maybe take y'all to the Mushroom Festival in Mansfield. <clears throat> well, it's the next place we're getting ready to go. They've got a bridge there. That is also one of the Cover Bridge Festival towns. So, I guess we'll just see you there. Okay guys, in Mansfield now. This bridge was built in 1867 by J.J. Daniels. Mansfield's a neat little town, another town with a lot of festivals. We've got just another spot for the covered bridge. Like I said before, they have a mushroom festival every spring. Come and sell your morels or buy morels pretty neat out there's the old mill Go 
another little waterfall. How the mill was powered. Raccoon Creek is, is a beautiful creek. Let's see, I think during the Cover Bridge Festival, I think they say that that week a million people come to Indiana from all different places. It's a little hectic, but if you've never been, it's it's fun to go. Living around it, it, I mean, once you've been once or ten times, <laughs> it's it's enough. My wife usually goes every year. They have a lot of vendors, sell a lot of stuff. But uh, I'm kind of grown tired of going over the years, so I don't go too often anymore. I'd rather come check them out when there's nobody around. <laughs> Let's see, they've got a little sign here. Our thanks to the generous people who have donated to improve our community. This bridge was painted by donations from the following people in August 1999. And a bunch of people. A lot of these bridges, I think, are, are kept up with donations, and I'm sure you can find a place to donate online if you want to, but in the fall, these places will be packed. Take you up and let you see a little bit of the downtown. During the festival, these roads in town are all closed off, and they've usually got tractors with wagons pulling people to and fro. That is where you can park during the festival. I know they probably don't look safe to you guys, but all the bridges have a weight limit. And, um, my truck's probably close to three tons, and it crosses every one I've ever come across just fine. So don't be scared. Well, I think we've got one more to hit on the list, and then uh, I'm gonna cruise up to Raccoon Lake and check on a piece of woods my mom and dad own. <clears throat> so, we'll see you at the last bridge. Well, finally made it. We got a little turned around, but we're here. This is the Rocky Fork Bridge, built in 1900 by J.J. Daniels. Let's go scope it out a little.
She's leaning a bit, but still safe to walk across. Tree Farm, CC Cook and Son Lumber Company. When it's warmer, I'm going to have to come check out some of these creeks. See if there's anything we can find. Well, it's going to be the last bridge for today. Let's go up and check on the woods. This area of Indiana is completely filled with hills and hollers. It's just beautiful in the fall. Loaded with deer. Let's see, I bet, bet we can find a sign of some deer if we look hard enough. Right there. All right, see you at the woods. Here we are. A little mosquito pits, a little frozen, but everything else seems to be doing real well. They had this place logged a few years back. Kind of hurt the mushrooms, but I'm waiting for them to come back better. We'll come up here and do some exploring during mushroom season. Well, we got lucky and made it back up the hill. Got a little hairy there for a minute. Got some mud on the truck, but we made her out.
Nothing like a little Hoosier hillbilly fun. Right, kiddo? Right. <laughs> Do you think we were stuck? Yeah. And then what? Then you remembered I drive a Ford, don't you? Yep. <laughs> My wife's laughing. Didn't even dinner. Thank goodness. Okay, we're gonna go grab a bite to eat. See you guys later. That's what I was just thinking. Getting ready to cross over the bridge on the lake. It's drained right now. They drain it every fall. It'll fill back up in the spring though. Try to shoot you some video of it. There she is. Raccoon Lake.